Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this Adidas Orange logo inside Microsoft Word using Visual Basic for applications that is using macros. And I'm pretty sure you know how to draw, you know, rectangles, how to add the text inside Microsoft Word or add a line. So the main part will be about drawing this this shape, this arc shape. So let's get started. We will not start from scratch, but from my previous tutorial about the drawing blobs and badges, just because this is a perfect way to start drawing something in what's called a polar coordinates. So actually. Let's talk about the polar coordinates first. So if we want to draw something in Microsoft Word or in any other application, we usually talk about the, the, what's called the Cartesian coordinate system when you have the origin point in the case of Microsoft Word in the top left corner and you have the X and, and Y axis, so X and Y. So if you want to draw something on the canvas, you just specify the certain X value and a certain Y value, you know, and it's being drawn. The other way how to think about drawing something, it's what's called the polar coordinate system. You also have the origin point being 0 and 0 degrees. And for any point, you can say that there is a certain distance from the from the origin point being the R as a radius. And there is a certain angle being the angle theta. Now you cannot just say or tell what to draw a point on position R and theta. You first have to convert it from the polar coordinates into Cartesian coordinates, meaning from R and theta into X and Y values, and do it by simply you do it by simply saying that x equals r radius time cosine the angle theta and y equals r times sine the angle theta. So if you do it this way, here we have the origin point, if you and here we have the angle zero degrees. If you just keep the r the same, the radius the same, and you just increase the angle, you will plot a perfect circle around the origin like this. Now we usually don't want this angle zero angle to be on the this part. It's kind of better to have it, you know, in the middle. And that's pretty easy thing to do as well. You just uh, flip the sine and cosine function and make the cosine minus cosine. You just say x equals r times uh, sine the angle theta and y equals r times minus cosine the angle theta. And what this will get you is a circle as well. But in this case, the angle zero will be on top here and it will go clockwise like this. You will also plot a circle. Now we don't really want to plot a circle because if you take a look at the Adidas logo, it's not a circle, it's like a, only part of the circle. It's an arc which go, goes like goes like this, like a leaf uh, shape. So what we want to do is instead of plotting a circle, so I will make another drawing in here. So let's say that this is our circle. So instead of plotting a full circle, we will start from a certain angle and go to a certain angle and then we will continue on the other side. Again, we will start from the certain angle and continue on the other angle. So we will get like two uh, arcs from the circle. Let's So let's uh, specify some values. Let's specify that this angle we will call, for, for example, arc span. And just to make our code a little bit easier, I will probably define this angle as well. And I will call this angle a start angle. Okay, so let's see if we can somehow draw this the arc, arc span first. So I will jump to the uh, blobs and badges tutorial. I will probably delete everything and open my macros and take a quick look at the macro. As you can see, it's fairly simple. It only takes one page. And here we have a number of segments which is a constant and sets how many uh, segments will we have for, for the polyline. We use this as the uh, size for the array. We have the radius and angle, which ha we have just talked about. We have an object color, but I probably don't need object color. And we are just uh, looping through every segment, increasing the angle, converting it from degrees to radians, and then setting the different radius like this wavy shape. We don't need this wavy shape. I'll probably set the radius to 100 and probably move this outside of the loop. So this is a constant the radius 100. Then I convert it from the polar coordinates to Cartesian coordinates. I just and just draw the polyline. So if I run this, I should get a nice looking circle. And that's what I'm getting in here. What I will probably do is I'll probably set the fill to not be visible. So I'll set fill that visible equals false. And I will set the line to be visible and probably more visible so weight will be like free or so okay so if i run this again i'm getting a nice looking circle so i want few more variables as i've said i want a variable called 
argspan, so argspan equals for example 100 and I also need a start angle and start angle could, start angle could be calculated by just saying that the start angle is the 180 a half of the circle minus the arc span divided by 2 so I will say that the start angle is 180 minus the arc span divided by 2 divided by 2 so let's try to draw first half so the angle shouldn't be 360 degrees it only should be the arc span so arc span and I want to start from start angle so I'll add the start angle if I run this I should get an arc which goes from some angle and the span is 100 degrees so that's perfect but we need to use this array for both the right and left side so what I will probably do is I will add a new variable which I will call maybe segments half and I will set this to segments divided to minus one and what I will probably do is I will probably convert this to integer just to make sure so we will use only a half of the segments for the first shape so going counterforming from zero to half of the segments and of course I have to set I have to use the half segments for this um, calculation so if I run this, I'm getting half of the arc and all the other points, all the other half of the segments are not being initialized, so they are set to zero, zero. So I need to basically copy and paste this entire loop. And this will be used for the second half. And in here, I will go from the segments half plus one, because the segments half is already taken in this loop, to segments. I will not go all the way up to segments, but to segments minus one, because uh, I want this last point to be same as the first point i will do it in a, in a while so the angle should be arc span divided by segments half times counter plus start angle but the angle should be not only the start angle but the start angle plus 180 so it's on the other half of the circle there is something wrong in here so for segments uh, okay so for counter going from going from segments half minus one to segments minus one okay that sounds right sorry not segments half minus one but segments half plus one to segments minus one when calculating the angle i also need to subtract the segments half plus one from the actual counter so counter would be counter minus the segments half plus one so if i run this i'm getting one half and the other half of our shape the only missing piece is this first point or the last point which should be the same as the first point so there is one point here which should be same as the first point so if i delete everything it's as simple as saying that the poly points count uh, segments the last point should be same as the first point so this should be same as the first point so point with the index of zero and I will do this for both x and y. So the second index one is for x, the second the two is for y. So again, if I run this, I'm getting almost the shape which I'm looking for, except that there is of course this space in between. I don't want this space to be there. I want this you know right side to be close to the left side, so it should be touching. And if I take a look at our previous you know drawings, you can see that what I'm what I'm missing is I want those points on the right. To be moved to the center and those points on the left to be moved to the to the right to the center and we already know what this distance is so we are we are looking to know this distance and we know that angle in here that's the start angle and we know that we've calculated the x value being r times cosine this angle so i can simply say that i will have a new variable which i will you know call for example i don't know maybe maybe x offset so I will say that x offset equals sine function of the start angle times times the radius. I also have to convert the start angle from degrees to radians because the sine uh, requires the angle to be in a radian. So I will use this equation divided by 360 times 2 times pi. So once I have the x offset, I can I can uh, subtract it from the right circle so x value will be minus x offset and for the left 
half of the shape the x value will be the x plus the x offset so if i run this again in my right document which is this one i'm getting something wrong okay i see what's wrong we are defining segments to be the even number it has to be the odd number in order to work correctly so if i change this to 100 number of segments no still not working okay finally see the problem seems like in the second loop i should have the segments half minus plus one inside brackets if i do it like so i'm getting a, a the true shape which i'm looking for so yeah that's that's it for the shape and you can change the uh, xr expand to be whatever number so you can change it to be smaller like 60 or you can make it bigger like you know 120 or whatever i believe that for our shape for the adidas logo it's around 80 or so so i'll start with the size of 80 like this and i will also paste the original image like this i will move this to the top so bring to front maybe change the you know outline to be no outline and the fill color to have some bright color so i can position it properly like this i can resize it and move it a little bit over the original shape to kind of match the shape then i will just copy paste it and rotate it a little bit to match the other shape i probably have to do it uh, make it a little bit smaller usually when i want to match the shapes it's a good idea to set the transparency to some value so i can see the shape below like like this this looks fine so i will copy paste it one more time rotate it like this okay i'm happy with this result maybe move it using the arrow keys then i will draw three rectangles and just copy paste it three times like this i will open the selection pane and i will hide this picture which is the original picture i will make the fill color of those shapes to be black so shape fill should be black and the for those rectangles the shape fill will be white and i will you not use any outline the only missing piece you can see there are some you know gaps in here so i'll probably draw one more rectangle in a black color like this in a black color no outline and move it below the rectangles just so it's filling the space and that's it that's all for the adidas originals logo if i compare it to my previous document you can see that i've just added the text box i'm using font text jar advent whatever it's called adventor i will put the link inside the description there is one more one more line in here and the originals i believe it's using bebas noi font they all should be free and i will put the link for all of them in the description and that's it thanks for watching